Hello world! Today I'm going to present some ideas on fuses for your motorcycle, whether you are wiring a motorcycle from scratch or if you have a Yamaha XS650 and you want to get rid of this old stock glass fuse holder which is a very common source of problems. A common rookie mistake, in my opinion, is to use a fuse block such as this. These are bulky, they take up a lot of space. Uh, this one is actually quite compact, but I've seen uh, fuse holders like this which are really, really big. It's completely unnecessary. Uh, it means you have to centralize all your wires. This picture is a very common simplified XS650 wiring diagram that a lot of people use. There are lots of variations of this diagram. If you look at it, you have a main fuse here, uh, and then you have branch fuses here, here, and here. Uh, they're all in different places. If you're going to use a fuse block like this, Again, you have to centralize everything. It really makes the wiring way more complicated than it needs to be. What, what works a lot better for me is you buy a little fuse holder like this. Uh, these accept the mini blade fuses like this. Fits in here. Uh, you cap it down and you have a waterproof uh, connection. Uh, and then you can just put it in line wherever you need it in the drawing. Uh, the same goes if you are replacing this. Uh, this is still uh, a nice solution and a lot smaller than using a fuse block. Uh, it's going to still fit on top of your battery and you'll be able to close your seat with no problems. If you prefer, you can also use uh, a, this is called a regular size blade automotive fuse holder. So again, this is the mini, this is the regular. Now, with the regular, they also make fuse holders like this. It's going to be bigger, of course, but the nice thing about this larger size is that you don't even need a fuse holder. You can just get a standard terminal. This is the common size terminal. Uh, found everywhere, and it's a perfect fit on the blade. So you take two, two of those blade uh, terminals, put one there, put one there, and there. I have just made a fuse holder. Uh, it takes almost no space, uh, and it cost me almost nothing to do that. You can do the same thing with the mini fuse uh, these are called the minis. You do the same thing with the mini fuse holders, although it takes a smaller, uh, it takes a smaller terminal. And, uh, but again, same thing. This is uh, a picture of those smaller terminals in case you want to try to find those and buy those. So that's pretty much it. If you're looking for these small fuse holders like this, uh, the size I suggest that you get is 16 aught. That's American wire gauge. These these small fuse uh, fuses and fuse holders are called mini APM or ATM. It's all the same thing. 16 aught is a good size. It'll work for everything on an XS 650. 14 aught is way overkill. Uh, if, you want to, if you want to, you can use 18 aught fuse holders for your 10 amp fuses and the 16 aught for your 20 amp fuse. Uh, an XS650 again uses uh, a single 20 amp. All the rest are 10 amps. Those are the only fuses you need. You can go to Harbor Freight and buy a mini uh, blade fuse assortment for $8 but you get all these sizes that you don't need. The only two sizes you need for an XS650 are 10 and 20. If you buy them on eBay, uh, if you're willing to wait for them to come from China, you can get these fuses for practically nothing. 
Uh, the same goes for the fuse holder. If you're willing to wait for these fuse holders to come from China, you can buy 10 for less than a dollar each. Uh, if you go to the auto parts store, these are going to cost about $5 each. And if you want to use the regular size fuses uh, like this, uh, the regular goes by these designations. ATO, APR, ATC, ATS. Thanks for watching and good luck.